I think if you want a copy of that, I think my son's got some copies of that, which you can get for a buck. That is the, what it cost me to reproduce it. Uh, if you don't have any questions about that, I'm going to read a couple of poems. And then, uh, let's see. Ah, there's a lot of stuff here. Jesus. <laughs> When I was a kid growing up in Newark, New Jersey, I used to read Chinese and Japanese poetry. You say, how is that possible? Well, my grandmother was a domestic. She used to do the hair for rich white ladies in the suburbs. And she would come home with these various books, which she said they gave her. She was my grandmother, so I believed her. <laughs> So I uh, read something called a haiku, you know, you know, in Japanese. So I said I would create something for black people called a loku. <laughs> Since we don't have the time to count the syllables, because we got to get out of there. <laughs> so they're just short. Dun 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 dun. dun. That's Bud Powell. Un poco loco. So I call this book Un poco loco. <laughs> dun 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 Loco for so what? They ask him the difference between insane and outsane. He said, you know the difference. That's why you ask him. <laughs> Two days later, they came back. He had left a note. It said the same thing. That's when his picture went up in the post office. The caption read, wanted for any reason you could think of. <laughs> this meant they really did understand. Question with no air. Why are they so crazy? Why are they so crazy? Why are they so crazy? Why? Are they so crazy? Why are they so crazy? Why are they so crazy? Why? The pet's reward. On Miss Daisy's deathbed, she told Morgan Freeman he was her best friend. So what about the dog? <laughs> Silent Night. Whenever the devil is disguised as God, he is called Santa Claus. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Fanon. The cruelest thing the Nazis did, and the most grim, was to turn some of their victims into them. Was it ever so quiet? The room began to ask you questions. <laughs> Adventures in Negrosity. A Negro tried to cash himself for money at a bank. He got arrested as a counterfeit nickel. <laughs> Culture. European Jews say the devil speaks perfect German. Black Americans, on the other hand, say he speak pretty good English, too. <laughs> Loku motive. The devil said he left heaven because there was too many niggas. That's why he started Europe. <laughs> Geobolical. According to the devil, when he was first thrown out of heaven, he landed in England. I believe him. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Heaven appeared with property, God with slavery. Heaven appeared with property, God with slavery. Dun, bah, 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 bah. Before fortune was money. Finally, everything points to the people and things we understand. Understanding is a point of view. If you look, 
what looks down from that point. If it is the sun, okay. If you see it better, if you don't, okay. But for instance, and there you go across the sea to be with the devil. The preparation for pain is minimal. The preparation for pain is minimal. For joy, a lifetime. Is that fair, we ask? Is that fair? You mean a fee? A circus? A white people? Bum, 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 bum. The return of Lon Chaney. If you see a Negro with a white ring around his mouth, Gooba dust will not help. Low coup. Craziness is no act. Not to act is craziness. This whole book of these loku, and I just read them. <laughs> Achtung, the American word for Nazi is American. Dun, 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 dun. Catch 27, the real problem is you don't know the real problem. Dun, 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 dun. Loku for Bush too. The main thing wrong with you is you ain't in jail. <laughs> Class gas for those who knows. Since the, rich, rich, since the rich eat more than anybody else, it is reasonable to assume that they are more full of shit. <laughs> in the funk world, if Elvis Presley is king, who is James Brown? God? <laughs> Thank you, that's my coups for today. <laughs> I, think, I think I've got a couple more to read. I'm gonna cut you all loose in a minute. Oh, this one I just wrote this week, or last week, is called The Original Terrorists. The terrorists have been here a long time, the ones who took the slaves, the ones who ran and underbossed the plantations, especially those who made money from them. They're still at it. They never stop. These old guard terrorists, and they're still at it, still terrorizing. When slavery was supposed to be ended, they tore up the Klan the Knights of the White Camellia. When we were supposed to get reparations, they got Andrew Johnson, a barefoot white man, to stop it. Every time we take a step, these terrorists appear. They ain't never gone nowhere. But you take a step forward, they come out. King spoke, I have a dream, and we paid for it with the four little girls blown up in Birmingham. Before that, we won the bus boycott. The terrorists blew up Dr. King's house. The real terrorists been with us hundreds hundreds of years. Du Bois called it the Sisyphus Syndrome. You push the rock up the mountain, the terrorists appear and try to roll it back down. Now Obama, Obama get in, defeating Cain's son, the same as the one in the Bible. Live in Arizona where they shot that congresswoman in the head and now want to ban Latino studies. These are them terrorists, still terrorizing. That's Goldwater State, famously back with a terrorist McCain turned tail in Vietnam, he came back a hero terrorist. Terrorists just the same. We get clear enough to elect Obama, the terrorists take off their Klan clothes and put on suits. They the Tea Party now, T-E-A, the evil assholes. They're terrorists, <laughs> they terrorists and Nazis, like always. They do anything to stop America's getting rid of its craziness. They let, never let all of us be Americans, they terrorists. And Republicans, they got Negroes too. They got real public coons. They terrorists too, like Tom S. Clarence and his evil wife. <laughs> Citizens United, they terrorists, hurt us worse than the Taliban. GOP, grand old psychopaths. What, <laughs> what Al Qaeda can do, the Republicans can. They've been doing it in one costume or another for hundreds of years. Now they're so frustrated. The racist addiction coming down on them, Boehner's nose running, got new maniacs to please, old Jones coming down, Ted Cruz, a Texas junkie, had a crying jag in Congress. 
or the other nut, Ryan, trying to stop you from sending your kids to college. He's a real mother for sure. Terrorists took over Congress. Listen to them. Absolute nuts. What Taliban can't do, they are doing. Close down the United States government. Now, who would do that? Think about it. What the Taliban and Al-Qaeda can't do, terrorists in the Congress lock down the government because there's a black dude there, just like they would in the 19th century when the blood wanted to vote. Obamacare, they scream, Obamacare. When they've been getting Obamacare all over Europe since World War II. <laughs> we facing the sickness and destruction of terrorists. They've been terrorizing all of us for hundreds of years, terrorists. When are we gonna catch them and lock them up, these terrorists? When are we gonna catch them and lock them up? Then we can cure ourselves, America, of what has always ailed us. Thank you. Thank you very much. The Swahili word for Holocaust is matha. So if you ask us how has it been for blacks in America, we say it's been a matha. <laughs> I think I'm going to read one poem if I can find it. Wow. Where is it? <coughs> no, not that one. Who's, oh, here you go. This poem got me into a lot of trouble several years back. I was, you know, we lived right across the water from Twin Towers. So we could see the smoke and stuff coming out of the buildings. So it was kind of chilling. I mean, you read about it or heard about it, but we could see it across the water, you know. So, you know, I was frightened like everybody else. I even had a daughter, one of my stepdaughters over there, who didn't call to tell us she wasn't in that building till later. But then I started to get pissed off, you know. I started saying, terrorists. But that's how we got here. I'm an African. How did I get over here? I don't even like the weather. <laughs> so I wrote this poem about a month later and sent it on the net around, and you know, I got some comments back. Most positive, some negative. And then I read the poem, no, no. Then I got named as the Poet Laureate of New Jersey, which I held that post about. 20 seconds. <laughs> but I read this poem at the Dodge Poetry Festival and got a call from the governor's office, Governor McGreevy. The next day, he said, you got to resign and apologize. I said, no, I'm not going to do that, you know. So then they start, you know, you know what they do. They put you in the papers, you're a bad person, and stuff like that. But the difference is, when I came home, since the poem was printed on the front page of the Star Ledger, the people in the street were applauding. Uh, See, they got different lives than, say, the Americans. They live in that terrible little town, Newark. So for them, they knew, they know me since I was a little boy. So they know my intent, you know. So anyway, <laughs> the irony is they got rid of the Port Laureate position. They want to become officially ignorant all over the planet. So that's what they did. But the irony is that McGreevy had to resign uh, a year later for having a homosexual affair with one of his staff members. But I, I thought that was weird, because if he was gay, he should have just said, I'm gay. And I'm the governor, now what, you know? <laughs> but uh, he didn't do that. And now I heard that he's in a seminary. I don't know what that means. I won't comment on that. <laughs> <laughs> but he had to resign and apologize, too. See. <laughs> Somebody blew up America. All thinking people oppose terrorism, both domestic and international. But one should not be used to cover the other. Somebody blew up America. They say it's some terrorist, some barbaric Arab in Afghanistan. It wasn't our American terrorists. It wasn't the Klan or the skinheads or the them that blows up nigger churches or reincarnates us on death row. 
It wasn't Trent Lott or <laughs> David Duke or Giuliani or Schumler. Helms, we you know, Helms is dead. It wasn't the gonorrhea in costume, the white cheap diseases that have murdered black people, terrorized reason and sanity, most of humanity as they pleases. They say, who do the saying? Who is them paying? Who tell the lies, who in disguise? Who had the slaves, who got the bucks out the bucks? Who got fat from plantations? Who genocided Indians, tried to waste the black nation? Who live on Wall Street, the first plantation? Who cut your nuts off? Who rape your ma? Who lent your pa? Who got the tar? Who got the feathers? Who had the match? Who set the fires? Who killed and hired? Who say they God and still be the devil? Who the biggest only? Who the most goodest? Who did Jesus resemble? Who created everything? Who the smartest? Who the greatest? Who the richest? Who say you ugly and they the good lookingest? Who define art? Who defined science? Who made the bums? Who made the guns? Who bought the slaves? Who sold them? Who call you them names? Who say Dahmer wasn't insane? Who, who, who? Who stole Puerto Rico? Who stole the Indies, the Philippines, Manhattan, Australia, and the Hebrides? Who forced opium on the Chinese? Who owned them buildings? Who got the money? Who think you funny? Who lock you up? Who own the papers? Who own the slave ship? Who run the army? Who was the fake president? Who the ruler? Who the banker? Who, who, who? Who own the mind? Who twist your mind? Who got bread? Who need peace? Who you think need war? Who own the oil? Who do no toil? Who own the soil? Who is not a nigger? Who is so great ain't nobody bigger? Who own this city? Who own the air? Who own the water? Who own your crib? Who rob and steal and cheat and murder? Make lies the truth? Who call you uncouth? Who live in the biggest house? Who do the biggest crime? Who go on vacation anytime? Who kill the most niggers? Who kill the most Jews? Who kill the most Italians? Who kill the most Irish? Who kill the most other Africans? Who kill the most Japanese? Who kill the most Latinos? Who, who, who? Who own the ocean? who own the airplanes, who own the malls, who own television, who own radio, who own what they've been known to be owned, who own the owners that ain't the real owners, who own the suburbs, who suck the cities, who make the laws, who made Bush president, who believed the Confederate flag need to be flying, who talk about democracy and be lying, who, 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 who the beasts in Revelation, who's 666, who decide Jesus get crucified? Who the devil on the real side? Who got rich from Armenian genocide? Who the biggest terrorists? Who changed the Bible? Who kill the most people? Who do the most evil? Who don't worry about survival? Who have the colonies? Who stole the most land? Who rule the world? Who say they good but only do evil? Who the biggest executioner? Who, who, who? Who own the oil? Who want more oil? Who told you what you think that lady you find out is a lie? Who, who? Who found Ben Laden? Maybe they Satan. Who paid the CIA? Who knew the bomb was gonna blow? Who know why the terrorists learned to fly in Florida and San Diego? Who know why five Israelis was filming the explosion and cracking their sides at the notion? Who need fossil fuel? The sun ain't going nowhere. Who make the credit cards? who get the biggest tax cut, who walked out of the conference against racism, who killed Malcolm Kennedy and his brother, who killed Dr. King, who would want such a thing? Are they linked to the murder of Lincoln? Who invaded Grenada, who made money from apartheid, who keep the Irish a colony, who overthrew Chile and Nicaragua later? Who killed David Sebeko, Chris Hani? The same ones who killed Biko, Cabral, Neruda, Allende, Che Guevara, Sandino, who killed Kabila, the ones who wasted Lumumba, Manlane, Betty Shabazz, Princess Di, Ralph Featherstone, Little Bobby, Locked Up Nandila, Deruba, Geronimo, Asada, Mumia, Garvey, Dashiell Hammett, Alphaeus Hutton, who killed Huey Newton, Fred Hampton, Medgar Evers, Mikey Smith, Walter Rodney. Was it the ones who tried to poison Fidel? 
Who tried to keep the Vietnamese oppressed? Who put a price on Lenin's head? Who put the Jews in ovens and who helped them do it? Who said America first and okayed the yellow stars? Ho, ho! Who killed Rosa Luxemburg? Liebknecht, who murdered the Rosenbergs? And all the good people, ice, tortured, assassinated, vanished. Who got rich from Algeria, Libya, Haiti, Iran, Iraq, Saudi, Kuwait, Lebanon, Syria, Egypt, Jordan, Palestine? Who cut off people's hands in the Congo? Who invented AIDS? Who put the germs in the Indians' blankets? Who thought up the Trail of Tears? Who blew up the Maine and started the Spanish-American War? Who got Sharon back in power? Who backed Batista, Hitler, Bilbo, Chiang Kai-shek? Ho, ho, ho! Who decided affirmative action had to go? Reconstruction, a new deal, a new frontier, a great society. Who do Tom Ass Clarence work for? <laughs> Who do do come out the colon's mouth? Who know what kind of skeezer is a Condoleezza? Who pay Connolly to be a wooden Negro? Who give genius awards to homo locus subsidiary? Who overthrew Nkrumah, Bishop? Who poisoned Robeson? Who tried to put Du Bois in jail? Who framed Rep Brown, Jamil Alamine? Who framed the Rosenbergs, Garvey, the Scottsboro Boys, the Hollywood Ten? Who set the Reichstag fire? Who knew the World Trade Center was going to get bombed? Who told 4,000 Israeli workers at the Twin Towers to stay home that day? Why did Sharon stay away? Who? 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 Explosion of owl, the newspaper say, the devil's face to be seen. Who? 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 Who make money from war? Who make dough from fear and lies? Who want the world like it is? Who want the world to be ruled by imperialism and national oppression and terror, violence and hunger and poverty? Who is the ruler of hell? Who is the most powerful? Who you know ever seen God? But everybody's seen the devil. Like an owl exploding in your life, in your brain, in yourself. Like an owl who know the devil all night, all day. If you listen like an owl exploding in fire, we hear the questions rise in terrible flame like the whistle of a crazy dog, like the acid vomit of the fire of hell. Who and who and who and who and who and who? who? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. If you've got one or two questions before I scatter, I'd be glad to try. Yes. I'd like to ask a somewhat similar question. It's clear to many of us who know your work for many, many years that there is a great gift with many of these areas of poetry, drama, criticism, etc. However, it seems that a strain in your work from the beginning has been a kind of anti white. Is it there? Is it not there? When well, let's say of, this. For example, when you speak of the Jewish workers who were. No, I didn't uh, say Jewish workers. Don't put words in my mouth. What did you say? Israeli? I said Israeli workers. Israeli. Okay. That's Israeli. a separate state from the United States. Yeah. That's okay. okay. Most Jewish people support the state of Israel. Yes. But be that as it may, is that strain there in your. Well, thinking? let's say this. I don't know any black person in their right mind that welcomes the idea of slavery. You know, and would talk bad about slavery to the end of their life, to this day, and the fact that it's continued and continued. In terms of the animus toward uh, Israel, I must confess that that's a lot of stuff Israel does I don't like. But for you to conflate uh, that into Jews is just the defense of Israel. Mm -hmm. Doesn't have anything. If you think that the Israelis are 
crime-free and sin-free? That's your particular perspective on it, but I don't believe that. I support the Palestinians, you know. I support uh, that that land should be shared. I don't believe it should be just Israel to do what it wants to. And, and Netanyahu, <laughs> um, and, and, and like they're Americans, Netanyahu is from Philadelphia. You know, I mean, the, the, the ambassador to the United States from Israel is from West Orange, New Jersey. I mean, this is a, a great a sham that somehow they're supposed to have risen there in the Middle East. That's not true. It's not true. It is an imperialist state. And no matter what you say about me, I will continue to say that. It's true. You know, it's not just me. You know, all you have to do is look at it, you know, and look at history. You know, and if you don't think the Palestinians are people, then, you know, we've got to argue that. Can I make a quick question? Another, another question? Or yeah, go ahead. Yes? Okay. First of all, the question of Israel versus Palestine, you and I can't, no. you can, you and I cannot debate today. No. But we can't? I'm okay. No, no, I'm happy to debate you. We can. But, sir, he is forbidden to lecture on Charles Bolton and Sandra. Yes, I understand. I got it. It's all right with me. I don't have a problem with it. Okay with you, sir. Uh, I don't have a problem with it. My question is this. Yeah. President Obama has come to the White House. We have here a distinguished poet who is also African American. Has there not been in this country with all its flaws an extraordinary, unbelievable transformation of attitude for those who are African American? Well, let me say this, you know, uh, <laughs> the United States is no, still not the land of the free and home of brave, and black people are still in a state of slavery, no matter what you might think, and I, who am a spokesperson for that people, will resent it and talk bad about it until I die. That's all I can tell you about that, you know, and, and uh, the fact that if Obama came out of the White House and walked down uh, uh, Pennsylvania Avenue now, he would begin to understand. I don't think Obama ever met real white people before. He met his mama, his stepfather, you know, not his stepfather, that's his, that's his grandfather and his grandmother. Those are all liberal white people. I don't think he ever came to the United States and met the real deal until he got here because he come over here expecting bipartisanship. But they have never agreed with him about anything. Mm -hmm. And so now that he stood up when they closed down the government, you know, at last he's taken a stand. To me, that has to be his legacy the last years there. He has to, re he has to resist these people. Mm -hmm. He has to resist these people. And it might take all kinds of talking bad about him, but it, uh, I, don't, I don't see it, you know. The stuff that they say, uh, even today, is infuriating. I mean, you listen to people like Boehner, Ryan, and those people, they're, they're infuriating. Ted Cruz, those are infuriating people, you know? Because everything they say is a mask for they're gonna still kick your ass, no matter what, you know? So we have to fight them. That's, that's the way I look at it. And I'm sorry that you think that I have some kind of resentment toward Jews. It's simply not true. You know, I was married to a Jewish woman for, God knows, eight years or something like that. But it's not that. <laughs> but it's just that, you know, the, 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 the question is the same. And if you look at my work, even when I was there married, you will find the same kind of resentment, you know. So there's no other questions. Thank you all. Take care.